Hello Sunshine and welcome to my channel Crafting with me, Indiani Jones. I will be creating some shabby chic looks that can go from spring to summer and I'll be crafting with friends and my kitty cats. Today I'm crafting with my sweet friend Monica of Up All Night DIY where we decided to craft from our stash, save some money and save the trash. Let's see what we came up with today. For this DIY, I'm going to use this bamboo tray that I literally found in the garbage. I seem to be very lucky with finding these wonderful items in my neighborhood and they're just put on the side of the road. They're not even put in the garbage per se. So I've even had some neighbors drop things off on my front step, which I truly appreciate. So here I am just using some chalk paint and here I'm showing you the chalk paint kind. It's deco art and this was on clearance at Hobby Lobby. I was able to snag some good chalk paint during their latest clearance. I'm a little sad that they're going to be eliminating a lot of the hobby items, but we'll see what they have in store um, because they do have a lot of uh, empty space now, at least in my store. So for the bamboo, I just made sure that I, I tried to apply the chalk paint at least twice because of the bamboo material. I wanted to make sure it got everywhere inside those, those little, I guess the basket weave of the bamboo. Now, I personally don't like bamboo too much, so I found several of these trays. So you will see more than one tray in this coming year <laughs> because I, I'd like to make full use of them. And I don't think they have to match. I like the fact that they don't have to match. Now I'm using these wonderful napkins that I got at Timu. Timu, Timu, Timu. Yes. I'm always finding fun stuff at Timu. I know that you guys are shopping there too. And if you aren't, make sure that you check out Timu and check out my discount code right there down below. Anyway, here is that beautiful napkin from Timu. And my camera was doing some weird stuff, but well, we're going to keep going forward. And I like to, when I decoupage, I like to do half and half, especially when it's a piece of napkin so big as this one. One thing that I didn't show here is that I made sure to remove the extra plies. Many of the projects today are going to be decoupage, so you'll see me eliminate the extra plies in some future projects. But I really enjoy doing this project because look at this beautiful print. It is so beautiful. I wish it was big enough for a wallpaper or something. It's so nice. I love the fact that it has these muted tones and that I can use it for spring and summer. I also want to say that I did cover it with some clear gloss to protect it. Here's another lovely item that I found on the side of the road in the garbage, of course, and it was just perfect for this project. Now, of course, I didn't like this terracotta color. It didn't fit my motif, especially for today. And uh, all I have to do is start with my chalk paint once again. And this is a beautiful, very light, creamy taupe color. I don't know how else to describe it. It wasn't exactly white and it wasn't cream, but it was a very nice, nice color, especially for this project. And next, I'm going to be decoupaging once again. Uh, of course, I'm using Mod Podge. That is my favorite form of decoupaging. But I will be doing some other techniques of decoupaging in some later projects. And I loved how I could coordinate all of my items today. I love coordinating and creating collections. So if you have something that you need in your room, like a frame or a tray, find something, you know, find a napkin out there that matches and you can create such beautiful home decor just from simple napkins and Mod Podge. It's so easy and it really turns out so pretty. And here are my lovely kitty cats. Kuru and Luna. Luna is at the forefront and Kuru is a little shadow cat sitting there beside me. And they're getting a little feisty so we might have to say goodbye to them for just a minute as I continue. Well, nope. Luna is right there with me. I took this book that I had from the Dollar Tree. It was part of my stash. And all I'm doing is removing the gold lettering on the edge on the spine of it so that I could decoupage it with that beautiful napkin paper once again. And once again, all I'm doing is using my Mod Podge and placing the napkin right on top. And it really looks very nice to create a stack of books 
with napkins that match you know your whole home decor and now guru is part of the part of the scenery there and just sticking her tail in my in my mod podge it's so funny how they love to sit with me as i work on my projects i really enjoy crafting simply because it allows me to be creative and it allows me to spend some time with these cute little kitty cats they've gotten so big i i mean they're not even a year old yet and look at how big they've gotten already since I'm making a stack of books, I decided to use other papers, like I had some paper here in my stash already, which matched perfectly. And I had this book, which I'm interested in reading, and I might take the time to read this book during the summertime. It was something about a chocolate, a chocolate, uh, chocolatier's life or confessions of a chocolatier. So I would like to find out what confessions there are like how much chocolate are you eating if you have a chocolate store i have a friend that works in a chocolate store so i wonder if she does get to eat a lot of chocolate i'm sure she does but she keeps herself very trim and beautiful so i'm sure she she eats it in moderation now to finish off the stack of course i'm adding a beautiful matching little ribbon with luna making sure that everything turns out just right well now what else can we decoupage well we definitely can decoupage some coasters using some plain white tiles i get these tiles you can get them even as samples from a uh, home depot you can bring a tile or two just as a sample and they'll be happy to accommodate you and look how easy it is just decoupage it. and again i'm going to use that clear gloss over it to make sure that it is protected from water and now i am painting my cat because i guess that's all she wanted so i'm using this uh, clean brush to paint little kudu I've partnered with HTV Ront and this time they sent me this beautiful mini heat press machine and I have been wanting to use this for decoupaging projects. Now I have a little bit of a problem here because my decoupage project was underneath Luna's butt but you know I got her to move eventually. Some kitty cat snacks always helps out. So I decided to create uh, a canvas bag. I didn't have a canvas bag though in my stash unbelievable right but i did have canvas and i did have some fabric mod podge so i decided to use this next technique with this fabric mod podge i think it's the easiest way to use fabric mod podge all you have to do is create the area that you're going to mod podge your napkin or whatever whatever item that you're going to mod podge onto your canvas bag when using this technique, make sure you have a nice, even, full coat of the fabric Mod Podge. Make sure it dries. It takes around an hour to two hours to dry. And then you're ready to start with using your iron or you can use a mini press like the one I'm using from HTV Ront. Now I just turned it on and all I have to do is wait for it to, the lights to turn green and it'll be ready to go. And of course, Guru is going to be there to make sure I am doing things properly. Of course, she's helping me by holding down that <laughs> she's so cute by holding down the parchment paper remember to always use parchment paper over your project when you are ironing it what this process does is help to i guess reawaken the glue the glueiness is that a thing to reawaken the glueiness with the heat and that comes together and creates a bond between the the napkin paper and the canvas and it is amazing i was really impressed with this way of decoupaging i'm going to be decoupaging like this many many more times because number one the paper product has no wrinkles whatsoever number two it just felt like so much of a stronger bond now if you have a canvas bag already you can skip this process but i have to create my canvas bag so here i am creating i have to you know you know do uh, the, the whole bag i have to make the whole bag so one of the things i did use the htv ront mini press is to also press down the fabric so it had a nice clean edge as i am you know just sewing all of the all the items and here i'm using this wonderful fringe that i had gotten once again on clearance from hobby lobby and here i am just putting everything together sewing up the sides and one of the things i did was sandwich the bottom 
I created like a sandwich kind of um, I don't know how to describe it but you kind of sandwich the fabric and then you sew up the sides and that way you have some space at the bottom of your bag so it's not just a flat bag but it actually has space so you can put books in it or whatever you'd like now Luna was checking to make sure that she approved of the lace ribbon that I was going to use as a bag handle and I think she approved I think it looks really really cute but they were very curious as to what i'm doing with this with this purring machine <laughs> my foot fell off there not my actual foot but my sewing foot fell off and here i am here is the final bag with the handle the i guess it's a handle and <laughs> the strap and how perfect to carry your books for spring and summer Speaking of books, why don't we create a little journal book? Now, this was a journal book I had once again in my stash. I hadn't used it yet. I love the color, but now I wanted to, of course, color coordinate it to all of my projects today. There, I had to adjust the camera because, well, look at my little ones just right there with me as I create. So once again, I'm going to use this wonderful chalk paint. Again, I love this color. And I'm going to cover the, the front and the back of this little notebook. Now it did have a very glossy finish. So the chalk paint was perfect. And I did use two, it was sparing, two sparing uh, layers of paint. I just wanted to cover the design because I didn't want that to come through in the decoupage. I also colored, you know, just to want to make sure that it covered in between the ring binding. Now, once again, I'm just going to use my regular Mod Podge, and this is the gloss coat, I believe. And I'm going to use that heat element again. Here I am adding that one ply of napkin. Once again, I removed the, the additional plies using tape. And once again, I'm going to use this parchment paper and just use this beautiful little mini heat press. HTV Ron, thank you so much for providing this mini heat press because I've seen other crafters do this and I was always curious. I was scared of using a big iron because I was afraid that it was going to be too hot and I wasn't going to be able to get into the smaller areas for my projects, but this worked fabulously. And there you have it. I think it turned out so nice. So now I can add not only a book to read, but also a journal to take notes into that lovely little handbag and last but not least i'm going to coordinate it with my handbag by adding a little bit of that uh it's like a burlap lace to the edge of it and i think it turned out lovely i hope you liked all of these projects and i hope this inspired you to create some coordinating items for your home during the spring and summer i know a lot of people haven't even gotten to spring yet it's been snowing it's been raining it's been horrible here in miami and south florida it's been raining terribly this week so please pray for us but i hope you're inspired and i hope you come back for more I want to thank Monica for joining me on this craft your stash collaboration that we just came up with for each other so that we would use more of what we already had on hand. What's in your craft room? Check it out before you go out and buy any new items for your projects and make the most of what you already have or share your stash with others that could use some creative ideas. Thanks again, Monica. 
Thank you once again. And if you enjoyed this, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And as I always say, stay safe, be kind. God bless each and every one of you. And remember to live the adventure. And I'll see you again very soon.